Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we're going to be talking about a new potential show that is in development that we haven't talked about before. Also, an HBO Max executive has talked about the possibility of some of the CW shows moving to HBO Max. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you all know, the Arrowverse is continually expanding, and recently we got the announcement of two new shows, that being Gotham Knights and Justice U. Gotham Knights is a show based around the Bat family. We're going to be guessing that pretty soon. We should at least see the pilot episode. It hasn't been ordered to series yet, so that doesn't confirm a season one. However, the people behind Batwoman are working on the show, and it begins with the death of Batman, and we're going to see a version of Robin, basically Batman's adoptive son, and he's going to be teaming up with some of Batman's greatest villains, but they're children. And so that's where that show is. And in terms of Justice U, it's a John Diggle show. He's going to be leading the show. He's going to be a kind of teacher to some new young superheroes. And that is going to be directed by David Ramsey, at least the first episode. But that is obviously probably more likely to go ahead at the CW, just because it's already baked into the Arrowverse as a whole. And you're going to have most of the Arrow fans coming back if John Diggle is leading the show. So those are two shows that went ahead. Lots of other shows did not go ahead. We know that Wonder Girl didn't happen, despite getting a pilot order, or at least they were interested in developing the series. And then also you had other shows like Painkiller that didn't go ahead, and those are just a few examples. But this new show, and I stress all of this other stuff before, because I'm not gonna say it's 100% confirmed, but it is in development, and there's always the chance that this actually could happen. So this article is from Comic Book Rant, and I'm going to leave the link in the description below to the article so you can check it out. But basically, Jensen Ackles of Supernatural is going to be working on a DC Comics show. So currently right now, he's working on this mystery project with DC Comics, and it's just been revealed that he's working on it with Greg Berlanti, which was just revealed in a new schedule for South by Southwest, a convention that takes place in Austin, Texas. And so the description goes like this, Jensen is also developing an untitled DC project with Greg Berlanti. And also Jensen mentioned in an interview a while back that there is a DC property that I'm currently developing right now with Warner Bros and some good partners. And so he hasn't revealed what project it is, like what character, where it's going to be set. We don't even know if this is going to be on the CW or HBO Max. Just right now, all we know is Jensen Ackles is working on a DC show and it could potentially happen because Greg Berlanti is involved. So he's already working with the big boss of the Arrowverse. So they've obviously got some idea. And as a lot of you guys know, they are always workshopping new shows to be involved in the Arrowverse. And I mean, any show really in general, like on any network or any streaming service, because they always need new content. And for the Arrowverse, we're expanding it right now especially as some of the older shows go away, like we just had Supergirl that went, Black Lightning went, Arrow went first, and so it makes complete sense that they are working behind the scenes very hard to get these new shows out, and so I heard some people talk about this, that maybe it could be Gotham Knights that he's working on, maybe he's going to be starring in Gotham Knights, but by the way that it's described, it's more of a Young Justice show where the actors of the show and their characters would be much younger so I really don't see it being that show and also just the fact that he said he's developing it he would have been included in that Gotham Knights announcement when they put it out because it's been developed by the people over at Batwoman and I'm pretty sure this Jensen Ackles DC project is going to be something separate and they haven't said if it's you know TV or maybe it's a film but just the fact that it's involving Greg Berlanti probably means it's TV However, it doesn't confirm it's the CW because Greg has been working on a lot of stuff over at HBO Max. He's producing some of it. So that's between those two, I would say right now, because it's been confirmed he's working on this with Warner Brothers, obviously, who own DC. So it's one of those two networks, and we'll have to wait and see what it turns out to be. It could be any character. Like, I have no actual idea right now what it exactly is but for fans of Supernatural this is going to be very exciting and 
Jensen has actually worked within the DC world before. He played Batman in The Long Halloween. He was the voice actor. Just recently, they released two films of that. Also, he was in Smallville in a smaller role. So, you know, he's not a stranger to it. And he is good friends with a lot of the people over at the CW and the Arrowverse. Because, as you know, Supernatural filmed for a long time. And, obviously, he's one of the big guys at Supernatural. And they were up in Vancouver for a long, long time. So he has those connections. So it's not that much of a surprise that he would be developing something Arrowverse related. Just right now, we are very scarce on details and I look forward to seeing maybe some more details that come out later. Obviously right now, he just doesn't want to jinx it. But please let me know in the comments down below, what do you think this project is? Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This is coming from Scream Rant. I'm reading off an article from them. So. The title is, Arrowverse Shows Possibly Moving to HBO Max, Addressed by Executive. Okay, so Casey Bloys, an executive at HBO Max, just did an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, and she briefly talked about working with Greg Berlanti on the streaming service on HBO Max. As I said just before, he's been doing some stuff over there, and he's developing some shows. And so at one point, Bloys was asked if there was a chance that the ongoing Arrowverse shows could move to HBO Max depending on what happens to the CW sale. And so this is a quote that she gave to The Hollywood Reporter. It goes like this. We'll see what happens. I don't know in that sale what they are looking to do or not do. But those shows do really well when they come to HBO Max in a window deal. They're really well done and valuable shows to us. I'm not involved in the next star or the CW negotiations or anything like that. So I don't really know, but generally speaking, the shows of Greg that he does for the CW are very valuable and perform well on HBO Max. So this is the kind of update that we've been waiting for. Like we know that Greg is working on shows over at HBO Max and we know that the CW is currently going through this big regime shift. Like if they sell the network, there is a high chance that everything shifts. There is always the possibility that they focus back on ratings again and they kind of pull a lot of their streaming service and online stuff because Nexstar is more involved in the TV network game rather than the streaming game. And so maybe you might see some cuts made in terms of the Arrow versus programming, which could see some of the shows moving to HBO Max if they have no longer space for them at the CW. It really all depends on that, and it's interesting that they don't know anything about this really, that being Casey from HBO Max, and it's actually good confirmation to see that, that the Arrowverse shows actually do very well for them when they come over to HBO Max in a window deal like she mentioned. So that means, you know, Superman and Lois will go on HBO Max after they air that week and it gets some pretty good hits for them. So generally speaking, they're valuable for them, and if the CW were to cut some of the Arrowverse shows, and there would be a move, I think HBO Max would accept definitely shows like Superman Lois, The Flash, something so valuable and actually like really, really profitable for them. They would totally buy in for that, and I could totally see this happening. However, it isn't the case that we're 100% going to be getting any major changes at the CW. It all really depends on who buys it and then what they plan to do after that. And if there's no longer space for some of the Arrowverse shows or maybe even all of the Arrowverse shows, I think they would be stupid to do that if I'm completely honest. That's when we would see some movement. So right now there's no movement. The CW shows are sticking. The Arrowverse shows are good with the CW for now, but there is lots more DC properties that are being developed over HBO Max. So that's what I'm talking about with the Greg Berlanti and Jensen Ackles project. I'm actually probably going to say it's more likely to come at HBO Max just because Greg is working more and more with them. And I pretty sure with Jensen being the guy that he is like he's pretty well known and he had a big success on the CW that someone like Warner Brothers and HBO Max would probably want to show from him but then again I'm sure the CW really want him to continue on the network I mean just look at the success of Walker they're going to get a new spin-off of that very soon so they do appreciate what's going on with him and you know the supernatural cast as a whole because They've been having some success outside of the show since it ended. 
But yeah, that about does it for this video, guys. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm super excited for all the upcoming DC projects. I really don't know what's going to stick. It's good that Gotham Knights got a pilot. I'm really hoping Justice U gets a pilot or even gets sent straight to series. That would be fantastic. And then I'm looking forward to seeing what this show turns out to be. I don't think this show is going to happen for quite a while compared to the other shows because nothing's been announced. This is just purely Jensen Ackles and the people around him teasing that he's working on a DC project. And so that's got us speculating about, you know, is it an HBO Max project? Is it a CW project? And it's probably something Arrowverse related considering Greg Berlanti's involvement and Jensen Ackles being friends with a lot of the people from the Arrowverse. So it kind of does make sense. But that about does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos, also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.